Sophomore defensive end Julian Obioha. Questions for Julian? Over here in the middle, Zach. Julian, after a tough loss today, um, and the defense, you know, struggled at times against that that great Alabama offense. What's the first thing that you tell yourself after a loss like that? Do you just say, you know, got to work towards next week? Uh, yeah, uh, just uh, listen to what Coach Salmon said. Coach Salmon said uh, he pretty much explained it to us this way. Uh, last year we went to Alabama, uh, Tuscaloosa did the same exact thing. Uh, we beat them on their home turf, and they thought uh, that was the uh, end of the season. Then at the end of the season, they actually ended up winning the national championship. He said, he told us it's not the end of the season. He said, you, if you do your job and win all the rest of the games, and you can end up uh, in Pasadena. So it's not the end of the season. OK, we'll go here in the middle. Julian, can you talk about the, uh, the struggles the defensive line had in terms of getting to McCarron? You guys seemed to, you didn't get a lot of pressure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, you, can't, you can't let a great quarterback like A.J. McCarron not even get hit or pressured at all. Uh, they ran a lot of play action, which doesn't help the defensive line get any pressure. But we got we to gotta come up with a way to get pressure on the quarterback. He can't sit back there all day. He's too good. Standing in the back. Julian, uh, you know, going into the half, Alabama runs up the score on you guys. Uh, you know, what was said at halftime to kind of turn the defense around and get you motivated to uh, stop Alabama from gaining offense? Well, uh, Coach Snyder just told us we got a whole half of football. He said Alabama's a great team. Uh, they're not going to come out and score no points. They scored a lot of points. We got another half of football. We got we to gotta start causing some turnovers, start causing some stops, give the offense back the ball, and uh, let them do what they do. Then here in front, we'll go to Suzanne. And then also. Hey, Julian, they were predict um, really effective at the um, bootleg. Can you talk about it? I think they had at least five completions off of it. Were y'all expecting that, or was that just a surprise? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we worked on the bootleg all week. And um, when we saw it, I guess we weren't expecting it. Something happened, or we just didn't, uh, we just didn't play it as well as we expected to. Blue leg's a great play if, it, if you don't if you run it when the defense is not expecting it. I don't think we were expecting it. We practice on the bootleg. We coach Snyder harped on the bootleg. We just didn't execute as a defense. We're on the right side, Cece. Just talk about their offensive line. They took a lot of grief after that opener. People said that was kind of their weak spot of their offense. Can you talk about their offensive line? Well, Alabama, Alabama's Alabama. They're always going to have a great offensive line. Uh, I watched the Virginia Tech film. I saw a lot of rookie mistakes, but I saw, also saw a lot of talent. Alabama has a great offensive line. Now, Alabama shouldn't be worried about their offensive line. More questions for Julian? All right. Thank you, Julian. Okay. 